morning and happy 4th of July, everyone. I am Elizabeth Koss, and I'm here with Jason Ostrowski. How are you this morning, Jason? The cars are just now making their way in the center of town for the beginning of the parade. Having weaved through the village with all the trees, you know, this is just a great event. Yes, definitely one of the best events here in Riverside. Uh, best, we were just talking earlier about one of the best times to be in Riverside is today. So not only do we have the police cars coming through here, but we also have some of our old time fire trucks coming through. Oh yeah, look at this, a beautiful piece of machinery. That's gotta be from the, what, 20s or so? Yeah, that's yeah. a real one. And of course, sitting up there waving to us right now is Matt Buckley. Oh yeah, keeping Riverside safe. He's one of those guys on the scene for every event, on the scene for every unfortunate incident that happens in Riverside too, but we're in great hands with these guys here. Definitely. Definitely. Our Riverside Fire and Rescue is coming through now. Got the fire trucks here. You know, when my kids were little, they used to love going over to the fire station and just hanging out with the guys over there and checking out the equipment. So oh, it's, yeah. it's nice to live in a small town where you have that fire department who's always willing to meet the kids and, and get to know them a little bit more. Beautiful and, facility next to the police station. These guys always maintain their trucks so beautifully. You see them out there cleaning the trucks. And, and we're just a top-notch organization here at the Riverside Fire Department. Yeah. And so good in the community, too. One of the things we love about being in Riverside is how community-oriented everybody is. Oh, yeah. Walking here I'm on my way this morning, seeing people that have been sitting in the same spot for 40 years. Oh, bit. yeah. Just oh, I love it. Them. People out on their lawns. It's turned into a real big party over the years. It's just a It really has. And it's a big party. You know, it starts the night before with the 3rd of July. Everyone gathering then. And then it just seems like everyone just goes straight through the night and starts the next morning. It's a great time. Ambulance is now coming through. Everyone tossing out candy. It's nice when you have all the fire trucks from your neighboring villages right. coming through, too. Right, now coming into a Grange Park here. Yeah. And they're always around to help, which is wonderful that we have all the support from the neighboring communities. There's a little candy scavenger there. Yeah. That's why all the kids are sitting out here right now, because there's... That's why all the kids are sitting out here right now, so that they can uh, gather up all the candy they possibly can. Elizabeth, I think we're kind of being drowned out by these sirens here. <laughs> I think so, too. We'll give, a, we'll give a wave to them as they come through. All these folks are sitting in the parade right now, but they're also on duty today, keeping us safe. Yes, yeah, some of these guys, you see them out at the at the concert in the park the night before, then they're out here at six o'clock in the morning setting stuff up and getting ready. Look at another beautiful, uh, one of, look at that vehicle there. What's that, some kind of an all-terrain vehicle? Yeah. I haven't seen that one before. No, I haven't seen that one either, but that's, that's really neat. I think that might be for um, sometimes when they have to go down to the river. Oh yeah, yeah. And do some of those river saves. Yeah, but it's nice to see it's nice to see the fire department come through and everybody's handed out candy now to all the folks uh, who are lining the parade route. And you were right. There's people who have had the same spot for 40 years. Now, Jason, how long have you lived in Riverside? Well, I grew up in Riverside, so this is you know, I'm 51 years old, so I've been here every day, every year, or rather. Um, maybe missed a few here and there, but we always sit in the same spot. My folks, my aunts and uncles, everybody's been coming here for years. And like we said, just one of the one of the nicest events. It, the parade route just you know goes right through the center of town, right by all the Victorian mansions and the beautiful houses in Riverside. You just can't beat the small town feel of this place. It's one of the best towns in the United States of America. It really is, and we love being here every year. And we have people. I mean, I'm looking around and I'm seeing people who come to visit, who don't even live in Riverside anymore. Maybe they moved away for one reason or another and they're back every year at the oh, 4th yeah. of July to celebrate here. Indeed, we're filling some big shoes here with Joanne Cozy missing, huh? Yes, definitely. And Joanne, if you're watching, 
We hope you're feeling better. We hope you're doing better soon. Hopefully we'll make you proud here as we sit here and, and do the parade this morning. We miss you, we miss you all, for sure. So we're waiting now as um, more folks are coming through and you can see the crowds are kind of lining up here. Uh, right here, um, the shot right here is where just a few minutes ago they were finishing up the 5K Independence Run that they have in the morning. Yeah, hundreds of people coming up to this run to run the 5K. It's just another great event. You know, they announced the finishers coming through the line. They got music playing here. It's just, again, this, this downtown area is such a great place to be because you get you get to see the, car, the, the parade coming in. You get to see the runners. Still people collecting their trophies out from the 5K. Yeah. I'm always impressed, and I'm always impressed with the number of people who run the 5K, and I think this year I was really impressed with the number of young people. Yes, you were saying there was all these 14-year-olds and younger and a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of young people running it this year, a lot of little ones. I mean, I saw a couple of five- and six-year-olds come through at the end. But then again, you also have at the other end of the spectrum, we also have the people who are in our 75 and older age group, and they're finishing strong and doing a great job, too. Yeah. I mean, the, the whole race was run in, what, 30 minutes or so, right? Most of those people are, geez. Yeah. Some, some long-time runners there, too. Some people who've been doing this 5K for a really long time. Looks like we're getting into the meat of the parade now coming up. The walker's a little bit slow here. We've got, uh, looks like a Boy Scout troop coming up pretty soon here. Some of the younger, uh, yep, yep. One yep. of the, well, we got our list here. What do we got here, though? This is uh, one of the we, Riverside Boy Scout troops, I believe, pack coming up 24, here. Pack 24, it looks like. Oh, pack yeah. 24 coming on through. Water. So, yeah, here, we come, here comes Pack 24 from Riverside. And it's nice to see, I think the parade is also, speaking of young people, a lot of young people in the parade and a lot of people um, doing good things in the community. And that's definitely what our scouts are doing. So here we see Pac-24 coming through, waving their flags. Looking to see their troop leaders coming on in. Scouts are doing a lot of good work in uh, Riverside, especially in the parks and rec. They do a lot of, um, they help us out a lot. Uh, doing some cleanup and actually building things in the parks. Oh, um, little dog coming through. Look at this guy with his red bandana all in, all in season for the 4th of July. I love it. Yeah, everyone's waving their flags. Got a good crew of people. I see the McMullins there. Mr. McMullen leading the troop. He's led this troop for quite a long time. And I see Gabe Kotwazinki. Kat Wazinski is there. He's now in high school, and I believe he's working on his Eagle Scout. Oh, some of those Eagle Scout projects are just fantastic that they do for the community. It's a pretty, it's a big accomplishment to be an Eagle Scout. Oh, it's in, it's incredible. I mean, the amount of work that they put into those projects and um, the amount of poise they have when they give their presentations and uh, present to the community and things like that. It's really a... a a big deal for them to come through and um, do those projects. And not many kids make it that far. That's it. It is. It's a rare breed. Rare breed. Yes. So we have another train coming through here, which always tends to slow things down a little bit as we uh, end right here by the train tracks. Uh, looks like I can see a few more uh, kids who ran this morning walking around here. And we have a few more scouts coming up here in a minute. You hear the train whistles. Not as tight of a uh, group here. We got a big gap between the presentations here. On the to get the um, got to get these people behind moving a little bit faster here. Yes. <laughs> well, it's a little bit different when you're riding in a fire truck and when you're walking That's true. <laughs> walking true. the whole thing. And as someone who's been in the parade before, and I think Jason, you've probably been in the parade oh, at yeah. some point too. Um, it's hard not to stop and talk to folks, That's right. you know, like, you know, a lot of the people as, as you walk along, because, you know, it is a small town. And so you're, you know, talking to people and waving at folks that maybe you haven't seen in a little bit. Because the 4th of July really does bring out all the neighbors and things like that, that maybe you don't see that often. And uh, the whole town just really gathers for, for today. Sure, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> So 
So, you know, it feels like it's going to be a really warm 4th of July today, but got a nice breeze here, so that's always a good thing. And I think we ha I think we might have our Board of Trustees coming up soon. Oh, here's some people that make a difference in Riverside coming up here. It's a big job, and you don't get a lot of thank yous when you're doing the Board of Trustees. You've got a lot to do. This is true. Yeah. Not a lot of thank yous in that job. Usually just <laughs> here in the complaints. <laughs> so it's nice that people step up to serve um, the community. So many things like that. You've got the, you know, between the Little League, the Riverside Swim Club, all the local businesses. I mean, it's a, just a great, everybody pulls together at an event like this. You've got volunteers that are one-timers and people that work on it all, all year long. You know? Yes, yes. And it's great. It's great to have them, and I think that that's part of being in a small town is that people, everybody needs to pitch in and help out a little bit and do something in the community. And we do get a lot of people who are willing to do that and willing to give their time. So I think I see our village president, Joe Ballerine, leading the way here, waving hi to people. We have some kind of a smiley face theme maybe coming up here. And I see the sun, moon, and stars around the earth. Uh, they've got some, uh, looks like some, yeah, air-filled balloons of some kind. Yeah. That's something you don't see every day. We're getting a little bit of a Macy's feel here. Yes, I love this. <laughs> I love the float look here. Yeah, nice. This is looking good. We got Alex Galagos coming on, coming on through here too. One of our one of our Lions Club volunteers as well. Stay cool, Riverside. All right, and I think this theme is talking about the Scanda plan for 2050. This is talking about how Riverside has pledged to be carbon neutral by 2050, and trying to do that for um, the environment and the community. Got an electric lawnmower up there. Yeah. All the rage these days. We did. We did all right. Yeah. A little nicely decorated Mini Cooper there with yeah. the stars yeah. on it. There you go. Yep. These are all electric cars now coming across the line here. Yeah, and I see Sherry coming up here. And we have uh, one of our wonderful village trustees joining us this morning. How are you? Oh, hi. I'm great. I'm just um, so happy that our um, torrential rain pour has stopped. And, and, you know, when it was going on the other day, I was like, please don't rain on my parade. You yes, know? <laughs> literally, don't literally. rain on the parade. Um, but we're really happy to be out here with the Village Board and with the Cross Community Climate Collaborative, um, you know, giving Riverside the message to stay cool and, um, you know, just displaying different ways that one could possibly do that. So. And can you tell us a little bit about um, what the plan is for 2050? We were, we were just chatting about it a little bit, but... Well, yeah. the plan for 2050 is that it is being started right now, and we are inviting everyone in the community to um, weigh in and kind of uh, give their uh, thoughts and visions about what that should be like, uh, because it really does need to be a community-based plan. Yes. Um, so the, we have, um, with our 15 West Suburban Cook County um, communities that are involved in the C4, um, you know, there are basically three themes of climate equity and resilience that we're working on, but um, how that is achieved is different for every community. And so... it's great. And what a great place to start in Riverside with, with Olmstead's plan. And Riverside's always been so great with planting trees and all that. It's just, it's one of the most beautiful uh, suburbs in, in the Chicagoland area by it, far. It absolutely is. And we have a lot going for us with that tree canopy. It's very important yeah, that we great. keep it that's in great. face of yeah. climate change. Mm -hmm. So, Yes. 
Wonderful. Well, where can people find out more information about uh, the C4 and plan for 2050? Well, you know what? There is a dedicated C4 initiative page on the Village website. Great. So if you just Google, um, you know, Riverside C4, you'll find it. Great. And, um, you know, the group has monthly meetings, and um, you don't need to be a part of those meetings to get involved and do a piece of a project. Um, so we're, we're very, very flexible as far okay. as that goes. So Great. Um, there's there's tons of information already on the website about some of the events that we've had earlier, like our okay. Road to 2050 event in January and our survey series. Great. And so Great. if people want to get more involved, they can just visit the website? Visit the website. Give us your email address. We'll also be in the park afterwards, um, you know, so people can stop by and see us. Down Wonderful. Guthrie Park, a great little place. They got some pizzas, I think. Again, some of these Boy Scout troops and stuff, they'll have a stand down there selling pizza, lemonade. It's, again, just continues with the great uh, small town feel of Riverside with the concert the night before, the parade during the morning, and then people just kind of gather in the park there across from the library. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate you stopping to talk. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for having me. Of course. Happy yeah. Fourth. Happy Fourth of July. Yeah. We've got one of our judges that's running for office here for the Cook County Circuit Court coming up. It's nice to see people just come out to the small towns and say hi to everybody. Got our megaphone here. These people are... Uh, Excited. Yeah, excited and ready to go. Oh, look at this guy with the little hat. That's a cute little outfit there. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Wonderful. All right, we're starting to get some more people come through downtown here. All right, and we are now joined here. We have another guest here. Would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, I'm Doug Pollock. I'm a Riverside trustee, <clears throat> the Board of Trustees. Thank you, thank you. Nice to see you here this morning. <clears throat> nice to be here. It's a wonderful day. Yeah, so we were just hearing from our last trustee a little bit more about the 2050 and the C4 um, project that's going on right now. Can you tell us a little bit of some other news that's coming on from the Board of Trustees? Well, we're, we started a new term with a new trustee being elected in, uh, in March of this year, Jill Mateo, mm -hmm. who is a valuable addition to our board. She's uh, been the chairperson of the Planning and Zoning Commission for years and right. uh, comes uh, to the board very well prepared to, uh, to help the rest of the trustees and Village President Ballerine keep, keep doing what we're doing. Fantastic. Yeah. Wonderful. And Doug, how long have you served as a trustee? I have been a trustee since 2013. Great. Uh, I served on the Planning and Zoning Commission for a few years before that, um, and, uh, and on my third term as a village trustee. Wonderful. It's been very rewarding. Great. We yeah. see the Lions Club coming through here. We saw a nice bright orange MGB. Nice to see some of these cars that come through. Another newer car here, nice Mercedes, all polished up. Yes, and then we have our Junior of the Year coming through. Looks like we have two Juniors of the Year. Um, actually, no, we have the one Junior of the Year, and then we have the scholarship winner waving and coming through right now. And, of course, the Riverside Junior Women's is just a wonderful organization that raises a lot of money for very local charities here um, and really helps out the community, does a lot of great work in the community, and a lot of fun events, too, of for course. Sure. Yeah. What do we have here? We have our scholarship winner here, Bryce Pekorik. Okay. There we go. And our contest winner for the 4th of July, our theme is Friends, Family, and Fun in Riverside here. And uh, she was Emily Butcher as our, as our uh, theme winner for this year. All right. Here it looks like this is going to be a big group. What's this Little League coming up? Oh, yeah. Throwing candy into the crowd with those high, fast pitches there. Yes. Got to make sure they're going underhand for these tosses with the candy today. Yeah. Again, all these all these uh, clubs are manned by mothers and fathers coaching their kids, and you got a choice. You can either swim with, uh, walk with a swim team sometimes, or walk with the little league. It's sometimes a tough choice to make. Yes. Yeah, and I think you know, for a lot of these families, they have multiple opportunities to be in the um, to be in the parade, and it's fun to see all of them walking today all the different teams okay and we are now joined by ted wadalik ted hi nice to see good you morning. Good, morning. good morning happy fourth of july happy fourth of july to you 
So, well, how, what brings you out to the parade today? Well, to see, uh, of course, St. Paul the Sixth Parish, all our men and women in blue who protect us every day out there with the fire department, police department, all the great work they do to keep us safe, the whole community, and coming every t together as a nation. Yes. It's a great thing. Yes, it's a wonderful celebration today as so we watch all these young ball players walking by. That's right. It's community. It's all about being part of a greater community. The, the kids play in sports, the band, the high school, everything that brings us together as a country. Yes. It's a wonderful day. It's a wonderful day to be in Riverside. Sure is. Yeah. And in the USA. Anywhere exactly. In the USA. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes. All these kids, they're looking a little tired as they get all the way down here all the way down towards the end of the parade here, but they're still tossing out candy, so we right. love to see that. That's right, I've been walking for nearly a mile here, so. Yeah, time to refresh and recharge for the next yes. parade. Yes, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And after our Little League team here, we have the Riverside Brookfield Marching Band from the high school here, and they're always a favorite uh, in the parade each year. Yeah, it's great to see two of my daughters were in the band, and uh, we had great times in those years. Oh, and yeah, it's a time commitment. Yeah. These kids, you know, they, they're they seeing some of those uh, marching parades are just phenomenal. The choreography and... Mm -hmm. The skill and the effort and the preparation that goes on outside the classroom to put on these performances is amazing. A lot mm -hmm. of practice, yes. And mm -hmm. it's a great direction from the leadership within the music program at the high school. They've done a wonderful job throughout the years in the community bringing this entertainment not only to the parades, but the football games and other events and whatnot. It's uh, something to really be proud of and a worthwhile investment for the community and the school districts oh, to definitely. support music programs. Yes. Color guard, look at the beautiful RV colors with the fierce mascot, the bulldog. Gotta love our bulldogs. Oh, yeah. And look at this. This is a big group here, guys. Look at this. Yeah. And I see playing the flute there our own Karen Padel up there in the front. Mr. James Bond. Yeah, Bond. Yeah. James Bond. James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he gets that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> But you can see even the students are directing here as they go as they march along. You know, it's one thing yeah. to walk a mile here, but That's it's another right. thing to walk a mile backwards. Imagine directing. holding the tuba while you're at it. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. This is a yeah. This is a tough gig. And then we have our palms here, our puppets. Right. Coming through. Red, white, and blue colors here on yes. the pom poms, looking good. Yes. And of course, they're coached by uh, Riverside's Tia Sherman there, coming up, leading. Filling him out at the end there. Yep, again, Sherman's an old Riverside family, a lot of kids and yeah. the grandkids and everything here. That's right. Yeah. Right. Some of these kids, third generation walking in the parade, fourth generation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So it builds a community. Yes. And then here, of course, we have the Audubon Road Society, which is, their, as they say on their uh, truck here, they're 56th year in the parade, and they build wow. a float every mm -hmm. year All for the, the parade. Residents. Yeah, they set up the parade out in front of their uh, and on Audubon Road, and everybody puts this float together. Looks like this year a swinging bridge theme. Great, love it's it. It's beautiful. Look, it looks just like the real thing. Yeah, we love to see that. Right. One yeah. of the great historical uh, aspects of Riverside. Right. The bridge that kind of goes from Riverside Lawn. Great to seeing you guys. Nice Good to see you. I got to roll to another parade. All right. All right. Okay. Good, Good, Good to see you. Thank you. Get yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and All right. We've got one of my favorites, the, the Navarro car there. Uh, this is Ray Navarro's, one of his race cars, an MGB, or rather an MGT, one of the uh, sports cars that uh, guys used to buy when they came back from World War II. Wow, that's a beautiful car. We've got a Corvette here, a Triumph TR8, another Corvette, that's a 1950s one, a little earlier car there. It's a, yeah, it's a beautiful color, that teal blue. Oh, yeah, the 50s yeah. colors and the 60s, just a, just a great representation of that earlier time. Yeah. Now, Jason, you're a car guy. Uh huh. So tell me about how fast are we talking these cars can go? Well, these are just regular pr production sports cars. I mean, as fast as you can make it go, Elizabeth. <laughs> Not in Riverside, right? We stick oh, to 25 no, no, no. That's in Riverside. Right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. But these are fast cars. I don't know if you can see this in the background here, but we got our man in stilts riding a bike around. Oh, that's nice. Looking so like Uncle Sam. Looking at a newer model Porsche there. Yeah. It's a perfect day for a convertible to be out waving to folks. Got to have your sunscreen on today, though, right? Oh, yeah. Hot in the sun. Yes. Look at this nice little Mini Cooper here. Yeah, oh, that's a beaut. 
little 13 inch, 10 inch tires, real small little thing. It's fun. It's and there, it, look at this guy. That's how about that? Ride in the stilts. Look at that. The bike's got to be what? He's 15 feet tall. I love it. That's some talent there. That's that's not something you'll ever see me doing. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the Riverside Landmark coming through, which is always wonderful. Do a great job covering the news and all the issues that are going on in our town. That's right. That's right. You hear about sports and unfortunate incidents in Riverside. You got their police botter. A lot of people write letters about opinions, and it's a, it's a great little way to stay in touch with Riverside and Brookfield and all the surrounding communities. Yes. Yeah, and I like, you know, they, they do do a lot of stuff covering the high school and a lot of the schools in the area as well. Always highlighting the kids who've uh, made the honor roll and things like that. So it's a good way to keep up with the community and see who's, see who's doing what. And we have William Hertogs here. He's an RBHS scholarship recipient. Waving to the crowd. Followed here by, I believe these are our Masons that are coming up here. Okay. Swords yeah. in hand. Look. Yes. Gotta love the Masons. They're right here off of downtown Riverside. Uh, always count on them for the great Vidalia onion sale in the spring. And here we have St. Paul the Sixth Catholic Parish. That's right. A couple of the churches in the area combining over the past couple years. We had St. Mary's and uh, Mater Christi, and we all became one parish here this last couple years. Yes. Here comes Father Tom, one of our... Father Tom and Father Matt. Are you yes, going to sit indeed. down and talk to us? Please, please join us. Oh, he's making an excuse. He's he making can't. an excuse. He, Come he, on, sit yes, down. Yes, Just yes. for a minute, sit down. <laughs> Here you go. Put that um. on. Father Time, just tell us a little bit about how it's been uh, combining the couple parishes around town. Has that been interesting for you? <laughs> I think it's been very interesting, yep. challenging, but yep. also fun. We've had a. That's right. We really have. People have been remarkable coming together, working together to achieve a unity right. of uh, three A little parishes. bit of change, but ultimately everything stayed the same. <laughs> ultimately it does. Yeah. That's right. One church and one God. Exactly. You know? so, so what do we have coming up here at St. Paul the Sixth? We have a wonderful black party at the end of August that everyone in the community is invited to. Wonderful. Nice. And where will that be? That will be at Monte Cristi campus okay. in North Riverside. Wonderful. At the end of August, August 20. Seven. Perfect. And where can we find more information about that if we're interested in going? Call the parish office on Burlington, the Bishop Perfect. Ryan Center. Yeah, Perfect. The, the parish has a beautiful office here on Burlington, right uh, adjacent to the church. So mm -hmm. they it's operate sort of most of their foods. That's yes. right. That's right. Yes. Gotta love that. And a shout out to Joanne Cozy. We miss you. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. But you guys are doing a good job. Thank, Thank you, you very thank much. You. Great to see you, Father. Thank you. Tom. Likewise. Have a yes. wonderful day. Thank you. Father Matt, are you going to sit down? <laughs> Father Matt, sit down. Father Matt's got his summer beard here, sometimes sporting a little bit longer beard, but uh, the heat must keep you a little bit. Uh, it does. Yeah, it's a long walk. What, you guys walk about a mile already, geez? Yeah, so we got this one, and then we're going to be going to uh, North Riverside. Oh, fantastic. For the next one. Got Perfect. To. And uh, Father Matt, I don't know, you were speaking of his beard. I don't know if you know this, but that's a $15,000 beard. Oh, no, I did not. That's right. Father Matt, you want to tell us about that? Sure. We were able to donate to help the school of St. Mary's. We had two matching gifts of $5,000, and then the school was able to raise another uh, 6000 so Oh, fantastic. Was, yeah. Great. So it was doing it all for the pair. Yeah, shaving off his beard. Yes. So oh. we're ready for the, the next the next round, unless people get wise and be like, wait, he's just going to grow it again. <laughs> Prefer it out somewhere. Look it. at this. This is a great little thank group of kids here. We got the lifeguards. Thank it. you. Thank you. All right. Now we got the swim club coming through. through. There's another Saving cozy. Lives. Old cozy there. See, yes. We Mrs. Got the... Doobie. All right. It's a nice day. I wish I could get hit with the uh, water guns today, but, you know, we got all this That's equipment right. I think here, your so... wish may come true, Elizabeth. I know. I know. They're, I think these kids are looking at They're getting a little close here. Look at yes. They got all their water guns. <laughs> The whole trailer's filled with water here. These kids are big water holics here. We've yeah. Got, we got the swim team. We got some lifeguards. They've got a nice little flow too with the uh, with the streamers on it. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And it's a nice day to be sport with a water gun today. Look at everybody. I think they made these tie dyes in some kind of an event at uh, for the swim team. Oh, that's super fun. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They look great in their tie dye today. Yeah. Very festive. 
And of course, between the Little League and the Swim Club, you pretty much get every kid in town. That's right. Sitting here, coming through. Here we got Gears to You. That's is a mobile bike unit here that uh, repairs bikes and uh, kind of like a mobile bike shop. They operate a lot of times right out of here downtown uh, at the train station. So uh, nice to see them coming through. Yeah, great addition to our uh, downtown area here, especially since so many people are biking through. I mean, we've seen it this right, morning, the number right. of people who've been biking around. Well, and, you have uh, to decide, do you want to be in the parade or do you want to watch the parade? It's always right. a tough call, you know. Right. Yeah, there's a, there's many opportunities with all the different organizations to be in the parade, uh, and you, sometimes I say I joke around that there's no one left to watch the parade because right, everybody's right. in it. But of course, we always get a good crowd here. Here we got some old time cars. These are the from the Salt Creek chapter of the Ford Model A Club and the Model Ts. These are uh, Henry Ford's first uh, cars that rolled off the assembly line in mass quantities, kind of changed America. You know, really made made towns like uh, Riverside uh, drivable, which is yes. nice. Yeah. Beautiful cars here. Well, Very well maintained, too. Love to see these driving around. Oh, yeah. Look at that one with the red spokes. Beautiful. Yeah. So the kids are, we're getting kids gathering up, looking for the last of the candy here as people come through. Everyone waving. Having a wonderful time this morning. Oh, yeah. Look at I just saw a kid walking with a huge bag of candy. They must be throwing out some really good stuff this year. <laughs> yeah, it's always tough when you're throwing out the candy, though. you got to make sure the chocolate's popular. Oh, the chocolate yeah. on a day like today not is not, today. A, good, not, not a good, good idea to be throwing that out. No. So, yeah. <clears throat> this is wonderful. All right, we got the older older cars moving through, get, making their way across the tracks oh, yeah. here. Oh, here we got Sean May. Sean May, come on up and sit with us for a second. Come on, Sean, have a seat. <laughs> See, not everybody wants to be on I camera. Know. That's what I we're know. talking about, yeah. Yeah, we were talking about this before, that it's funny how, you know, people are like, <clears throat> people get really shy when they see the cameras in front of them. But we'll get some more folks to come here and visit with us here in just a moment. It's nice to see all the young families moving into Riverside and celebrating here. Oh, it is. It's amazing. Got, yeah. when, when, when I grew up here, there wasn't nearly as many families, you know. Uh, RB had, I think, 700 kids when we went there. You know, yeah. And now it's it's almost 2,000, I want to say. It's, it's They've doubled in size. Yes. Maybe not 2,000. What is it? 1,400 or something. But either way, a lot of young families. Our street has kids everywhere. I mean, they got so many great parks where you, you get to see the kids. You know, they're right. out in front of the house playing baseball and sports yeah a lot of block parties this time of year it's just a great time it's wonderful and it's one yeah i think you're right i think that we've seen riverside get younger and younger over the years and part of that of course is our great schools here we have in riverside oh yeah but it's just a wonderful place to raise kids no doubt I about mean, it you and i were both raised here right, right. we brought our we, families back i couldn't wait to get out of here and then i find myself <laughs> wanting to raise my family here yeah yeah <laughs> it's funny you know that, that's exactly it you feel like oh i want to leave this small town and then you're like wait a minute this There's small time nothing was fantastic. better than that oh here we got the library they got a nice little float here. Summer yeah. at the library, a lot of uh, summer reading programs that the library puts on where you check out different books and certain themes and whatnot. Uh, but a lot of, lot of time, uh, kids can just go to the library and hang out, beat the, beat the heat, sit in the air yes. conditioning, read a book. Yes. Great facility since they remodeled this several yeah. years ago, but still maintains the original historic design, which is great. Which like is Like a fantastic. lot of places in Riverside. Yes. It's wonderful. And coldest water fountain in Riverside right there. Oh, yeah. 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 So, all right, we got our band coming through here. Different feel from our marching band, of course. Yeah. A little, little jazzy here. Yeah. I like this. Love that. And then we have our little, our Friends of the Fourth. Oh, yeah, Friends of the Fourth. do a great job of doing all these events. They basically organize the whole weekend from the, from the parades to the... 5K to the uh, the concert in the park again now a Guthrie Park so just so much effort goes into this organization the Friends of the Four so we thank them for putting this all on unbelievable yes and of course Joanne Cozy one of the founders of uh, Friends of the Fourth who makes this parade and all this stuff possible again we're missing you Joanne wish you were here today hopefully we're filling in as best we can here. And then we have the summer camp float coming through with the Parks and Rec. And, of course, the Parks and Rec float is always the last one to come through with their candy and bubbles. 
Well, I can't believe we're wrapping this up already. Another great year. I guess we're ending the 2023. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. But it's been a wonderful parade, a wonderful morning. And, of course, there's a ton of festivities still really to come nice. I know in a lot town. of people will be partying all day, yeah. either at the swim club or backyard party. So yeah. just, just a great day to be alive in the United States, right? Yeah. I think I'm going to head over to Guthrie, get myself a lemonade made by the Boy Scouts. Oh, and yeah. Michael pizza at 10, pizza. Yeah, pizza oh, at 10 yeah. o'clock in the morning. I think I've you had can't that beat slice it. of pizza th on that morning every year for the last 40 years. <laughs> I know. I love it, it's too. It's like, who eats pizza in the morning? But if you're Only on the 4th of, of July. Right, Only right. on the 4th of July. We love it. All right. All well, right. thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you have a wonderful 4th of July and happy Independence Day. Take care, everybody.